Hey everybody, it's Kathy, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a round face look slimmer with some very basic contouring techniques. I'll be using cream bronzers as well as powder bronzers to do my contouring, and then I'm going to show you how to do highlighting and where to place your blush. Because when you have a round face, where we place our blush is completely different from somebody that has a thinner face than us. And also, as we age, our face sags, so where we once placed, our blush or our highlighter or our bronzer, those things need to change as well. So if this is something that sounds interesting to you, give my video a like, subscribe, sit back, and I hope that you enjoy the video. So I'm going to prime my face and I'm using the It Cosmetics Oil Free Primer. I'm priming it for two reasons. It's very hot and humid here and I just want my makeup to stay in place. And the other reason is primers are sort of act as like, say you're priming a wall before you paint it. Just fills in any imperfections or just prepares the canvas for painting. All the products will be listed below in the order in which I use them. And now I'm priming my eyelids with an eyelid primer that I love, but I also go underneath my eyes. My eye area is very oily. So I've been doing this lately and it seems to help. So I just put a little bit on my finger, go on my eyelid, and then just go all the way around. Now I'm just going to do a little color correcting. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector and I just basically start in the corner of my eye and then just pull it down and pat it in. I love this color corrector because it hides the darkness and the uh, blue coloring that I have underneath my eye. You can see on this side. So I always just press it in the corner and then just putting the tiniest amount on and then just press it in. I think this one needs a little bit more because I got a dark spot there. I haven't been sleeping at all so I find I'm getting more blueness or darkness under my eyes. For makeup today, I'm using the L'Oreal BB Cream. This has been my go-to all summer. I love it. As you can see, my face has a little bit of redness in it and this just really calms the redness down and it matches perfectly to my skin. So when I first put it on, it's green, but then it transforms some kind of magical thing that it does and you can see it just blends right into my skin and it hides the redness. I love this stuff. It is so lightweight. It's just like putting a moisturizer on my skin. And I think that's why I like it. Cause especially in the summertime, my skin has been so oily this summer. I can't stand the feeling that I have something heavy on my skin. That's why I don't like the foundation. I usually always stick with a BBCC cream or a tinted moisturizer. And for me, they do everything that I need them to do. So I much prefer them than a full foundation. So now I'm using my Hourglass powder. You can use any powder you like. And I'm using this Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff. I love this thing for putting on my powder. I took the cap off the Hourglass because it was getting low just so I could access it. So I'm just tapping the powder on and I'm going to come back and work it in, but I just want to put some all over. And I'm going to show you how I've been doing setting my makeup this summer and it's really helped because my skin has been so oily. So I just press it in. I mean, you can use a, a brush, you can use a sponge, whatever you like. I even go over my eyelids to set that primer. And this has really been helping to keep my makeup lasting all day and I don't get oily. So I feel pretty dry. So I think that's pretty good. There's so much construction going on around this place. It is literally getting on my last nerve. Then I just take this big It Cosmetics jumbo brush and I just go over my face in case I've missed any loose powder. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I have been going back and forth between the It Cosmetics eyebrow pencil that I love and my new love, the Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury one just to show you because I have used the It Cosmetics one so many times. What I like to do is just start where the eyebrow should be where I'm missing hair. I have been using the Latisse now for five weeks and I haven't seen any hair showing up yet, but I have been told it takes six to eight weeks. So the Latisse will be finished tonight and then I'm switching over to the Ordinary. I don't think we can get that popular one that you have in the US. Is it Revit Revitalash or something? I'm gonna be going actually to the States 
for a wedding and probably I will have been to the wedding by the time you see this video because I'm pre-taping and I'm gonna look at the Nordstrom's if we're near Nordstrom and see if I can get one. I'll also be going to Ulta for the very first time in my life. I am so excited to see what the buzz is about Ulta. I think they had an online shopping a couple years ago to Canada but then it didn't last. I'm not sure why, but probably the high postage fees in Canada is ridiculous how much it costs to ship things here. So anyways, that'll be interesting. I was in Vermont earlier this year for a bridal shower for the same person. It's a family friend. My daughter and the lady getting married grew up together. So it's nice we're all going to this to her wedding. She is marrying a man from, I think maybe New Hampshire, but they're having the wedding in Vermont half halfway for, you know, the Canadian friends and family and then his friends and family. So I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be nice. I'm gonna save all the face stuff to the end. I'm gonna do my eyes now just real quick. Just doing a simple eye look because today is all about contouring the face. So I'm using a L'Oreal retractable eyeliner for my waterline. You know I love my Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Eyeliner. I think this is a drugstore dupe for it. And that's why I have been showing it lately because I want to have products at different price points. So it's going to take me a while, but I'm trying. Okay, so that's that. And it does a really nice job and it's not irritating. It's perfect. For eyes, real simple. Just using an eyeshadow stick. Uh, this is, one is by Laura Mercier. It's just a nice light pink. Just basically go all over the eyelid part that move up into the crease. And I'll come back and I'll press that in with my finger. Oh, this construction noise is getting out of hand. Like, it's impossible to have any quiet time to film a video. So now I'm just taking my pinky and pressing it in. And that's pretty much all I'm doing today for my eyes. And now I'm just putting on my mascara. The mascara I'm using is the Chantecai. And I'm using it simply because it has serum in it. And it's really expensive and I don't want it going to waste. So you don't have to use these products that I'm showing you. But you can take inspiration if you want to try and recreate this look with products that you have. I bought this last year in the Nordstrom sale. I forgot I had it, honestly, and I found it when I was unpacking. And the reason I wanted to try it, because one of my favorite YouTubers, Just Jennifer, she's a lady from Chicago, very nice, does a lot of vlogs. She raves about this mascara, and I know that it was so expensive, but I wanted to give it a try. And I actually got it on sale last year, two tubes, for I think it was $100, which is still ridiculous. But if it does have serum in it that helps my lashes to get conditioned or grow, I figured I'd give it a try and it came with two tubes. So I'm using that up because I do not want to waste it. Okay, so now we're coming to the contouring part and I'm just gonna show you the four products that I use for contouring. You don't have to use these. This is a Charlotte Tilbury beauty wand. It's easy. Then I have the It Cosmetics bronzer, which I like this as an all over color. I also like the bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury for an all over face bronzer just to warm up my face. And then I'm going to be using this for part of my contouring because I haven't shown it to you yet. I don't think that I have. And it is the new Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. I have used it a few times. I do like it, but you have to be very careful uh, not to have a heavy hand because it's very pigmented and it's a cream product. So I'm going to use this today. I will link the video where I have used this one before the contour. You can go check that out. And then just for all over uh, bronzer color, I'll use the It Cosmetics one because I know that a lot of you have it. So I basically just take like a fluffy brow brush, put it in, and then I just lightly go all over the face. Like I'm not going in any pattern. I am not trying to contour. I am just adding color to my face. So when you have a round face, you want to sort of create some shadows and make it look like we have cheekbones and we want to create a slimmer look or a chiseled look for our cheekbones. That is the look that I'm going to try and create without having to actually go around like 
looking like a fish all day. I'm using the cream bronzer. It is highly pigmented. And I went and I bought the little brush that goes with this because I used this brush the first time. This is the Real Techniques blush brush and wow, that was a big mistake because I, my face was, it looked dirty. I had got so much bronzer on. So this is the brush they recommend. So I am very lightly just going around and can you see that on my hand? That's how pigmented this stuff is. I don't contour too much up here, but I will show you like what the rule is or whatever, you know, for contouring. They say like make a three and a backward three. So what I like to do is I just like squeeze the brush a little bit. Can see how thick that is? Don't worry, I'll come back and fix it. I start like, imagine a line coming down from the outer corner of my eye. And that's where I'm gonna start the contour. And then you always wanna like draw a line to the top of your ear. So just keep that in mind. So I just pat it on, always going up. And see how pigmented that is? It's ridiculous. Let me just do this side of my face just to show you. I'm trying. I never contour up here, like only when I'm doing contouring videos because my hair is always on my forehead anyways. But see the difference? Like look at this side of the face, still looks round. And look at this side of the face. It's ridiculous. And then I go under the chin. So I've kind of made like a three, right? But we're only beginning. I find this method works better when you have a round face. So see this side of the face, you can already see the shadow. It looks a lot thinner. This side, you know, it's got the roundness to it. I'm actually just gonna take that ball wand brush and I'm just going to kind of buff it in. Pulling down and then pull up and then pull down here. It's so easy. And this side of the face looks a lot slimmer. Imagine that imaginary line from the outer corner of your eye you start and then you're pulling it up to your ear and then under the jawline I'm just pressing it in and we can do some right here too to get rid of that double chin I find when I use this brush and I try to pull down I'll show you it makes it too dark and this is fair this is the lightest color there is so if you have a lighter complexion than me, I don't know how that's gonna work. So now we're just gonna take that ball wand brush and we're just pulling down and then just buffing it up. And the same thing down here, just pull, pull, pull. And you just wanna take your time. You don't want any like, obvious lines of bronzer so that's why you want to take your time and really buff it in so see it's kind of created like a chiseled look you can see the bronzer there but i assure you in person it's not that dark but it just creates nice definition and even around uh, my double chin it's just all about creating shadows and that is so easy now if you don't want to use a charlotte tilbury cream bronzer and i totally get it you know, it, it's really expensive, but I wanted to try it and share it with you guys. Just use whatever bronzer you have and then just build it up to make it darker so you get that chiseled look. And I mean, you could just use a blush brush. You don't have to go out and buy, you know, a specific brush or this particular bronzer. That is how I would use this bronzer. I would never use this bronzer for all over my face because I tried it and it doesn't work. For all over my face, I would stick to a powder bronzer. The cream is just, it doesn't work for me. Now we're gonna put our blush on. The blush that I'm using today is natural really pretty by Cosmetics. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques brush even though it's dirty. Just don't notice the dirt. So whenever we have a round face, and that's a lot of brush, blush I just put on. Whenever you have a round face, remember when we were younger and they said put your blush on the apple of your cheeks? Don't do that because as we get older, when I smile, my cheeks up here. Well look where my cheek went. Now it's down here. So what I do with my blush and I don't see a lot of people doing it this way, probably because they don't have a round face like me, but this is what works for me. So again, I just like to place my blush. I start on the 
from that imaginary line on the outer portion of my eye. So I just go above the contour. See the contours here? I'm gonna put the blush here. So again, I pull up. This is a really pretty blush, very pigmented. And I kind of like go up a bit. Or you could just go straight, whatever you prefer. But I don't put any blush like in this area. So just like draw an imaginary line right down from the outer corner of your eye. And that's where I put my products. And just think of it as you're making like a like an apostrophe or a comma. So then if you want, you can just take another blush and just buff everything in a few times. And that's all we're doing for blush. So simple, so easy, but yet so effective for a round face. So the next thing we're gonna do is highlight. The highlight that I use is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I love it. You don't need this highlighter or illuminizer. Use whatever product you have. But if you do want to try this, they do have it in a smaller container. And I think it was like $20. I always just put a dot where my eyebrow arches. And that's a lot of highlighter. I didn't realize there was that much there. Do it on both sides. Then I will go down my nose. I put one in the cupid's bow and then one right at the tip of my chin. Starting, I'm just putting it above the blush, not on it, just above it. So I'm lining up with that outer corner of my eye. I put one dot there. So I basically have three dots. See how they're all like in line with the corner of my eye? And then I do the same thing on this side. lovely look isn't it the weight it is so then I just take a beauty blender that's uh, dry and then I just take my time and I just push it into the skin down the nose so basically highlight the light just reflects off of it and um, this makes your face look really pretty and glowing because sometimes, well, as we age, our skin gets, I guess, duller looking if we, you know, don't do a lot of exfoliating. But this is just such a gorgeous highlighter. I haven't found a Charlotte Tilbury foundation that I like, but I do like most of her face makeup. Bronzers, highlighters, eyeliners. Isn't that pretty? Like you can see the glow. Hopefully they can't see me from outer space. I really like how it looks and look at that contour. It is so, so pretty. So now, because I'm kind of a uh, highlighter, contour kind of a lover, oh gosh, this construction. I'm just gonna put a little more highlighter on here because I just wanna show you this. It's one of those Charlotte Tilbury beauty wands, but you have to be very careful because a lot of product comes out. I'm just gonna go over where I went with my highlighter, and you don't have to do that. I just do this on the cheeks just because I love highlight. And then I'm just gonna go down my nose because there's product on there and I don't want it to get wasted. You do not have to do this step, but I just wanna show you this product. And then I'm taking the tip of that beauty blender and just buffing it in. And it's so, so pretty. So if you didn't wanna use the Hollywood Flawless Filter, you could use the beauty wand. I've been trying all year get one of her blush ones, never in stock. Can you see the glow? You can see my ring light. It's really reflecting off of where I put the highlighter. But in real life, I mean, I'm not gonna go around looking like this glowy. It's just because we're in front of the light, but it's just so pretty and my face feels dry. I really like that BB cream and how I'm powdering it down this summer. It has really made all the difference. Before I do my lips, we're gonna set everything and I'm using the a Cosmetic Setting Spray. Okay, that was a little bit much of the setting spray, but I'm going out and it's like 40 degrees Celsius before humidity. So now we're gonna do lips and I'm still loving this retractable lip liner by Sephora. It's so pretty. I hope you can't hear all this construction that's going on. Oh, it's so annoying. So this is a combination I've been using all summer. I love it. Another Charlotte Tilbury lip lipstick. 
just a nice really hot pink for summer and then i'm put clear lip gloss on do i look glowy and then today's perfume choice is joy by dior and that is my easy contouring, easy highlighting look for mature skin. So I hope that you found the steps helpful, not too complicated. You don't have to spend a lot of time doing it or you don't have to spend a lot of money on the products. Just use whatever bronzer you have, but just keep building it up in the places you want to contour. But if you want to try the products that I showed, I assure you they are great products for oily, mature skin. I've been using them now for quite a while and I really do love them. I don't touch my makeup at all for the rest of the day except to apply lip gloss. I don't walk around with powder stuff touching it up. It just it is what it is. So if you enjoyed my video I hope that you'll like it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon. Bye!